Hello and welcome to this clip all about air pressure. We're going to be focusing on air pressure in this clip which is part of the hazardous earth section of the exam all about atmospheric circulation. So for our exam link here you need to know about arid areas which are our high pressure areas and high rainfall areas which are low pressure. So low pressure is where your air is rising which leads to our high rainfall and our high pressure areas are your sinking air which lead to arid areas across the world. In this clip we're going to focus on each of these different types of pressure and the types of weather and climate that occur as a result. So we're going to focus on low pressure now. So low pressure is where you have rising air. So something rises due to heat. So your warm air is rising up. We can think about this in terms of evaporation. So water particles rise up as they are heated by the sun. So this is what is happening when we have low pressure. The heating, the warming is causing your particles to rise upwards. As your particles are rising upwards, the temperature in the atmosphere starts to decrease. As the temperature in the atmosphere starts to decrease, this is going to increase your density of your air. So your particles are going to start to move closer and closer together as the temperature begins to cool. And as a result, this leads to condensation taking place. As your particles start to condense, this leads to the formation of our clouds. Once your clouds are formed, you have a high chance of precipitation or rainfall taking place. As this rainfall takes place, it moves back to the Earth's surface. So low pressure is um, likely to cause high rainfall. When you're learning about things like convectional rainfall or the water cycle, this is an easy way to remember low pressure. So low pressure um, means high rainfall. A good way to remember this is if you're feeling low, okay, the weather you're going to be feeling quite down is not going to be very nice. So when the weather is not very nice, you have high amounts of rainfall, this could cause your mood to feel low, just like your low pressure leading to the high rainfall taking place. So if we summarise this process of low pressure, we have warm air that is rising, so something causing heat, so the surface of the earth is much warmer than the atmosphere. This rising causes your air to cool as temperatures drop as we move into the atmosphere. This leads to our condensation taking place, causing the formation of clouds, which leads to high amounts of precipitation or rainfall. So if we now focus on our second type of pressure, this is our high pressure. So the way that I remember this is imagine you have a person that is stood on the surface of the earth. So when we have low pressure, our air is sinking downwards. So when something sinks, it's because it becomes much heavier. So the particles are becoming much closer together. And the air particles sinking down are putting pressure on the person on the surface of the earth. So we could say they are under high pressure. It's being pushed downwards onto the earth's surface. So as we saw from the last clip, the surface of the earth is a much higher temperature than the atmosphere. So as your particles sink towards the earth's surface, this leads to the particles warming up. So as your particles start to warm up, no condensation can take place because condensation, as we said, is formed by cooler air temperatures. So your warmer temperatures means that no condensation can take place. So as a result, we're going to have much clearer skies. And due to these clear skies, there's no rainfall. The air is much drier, which leads to something called an arid condition. So arid just means dry. So deserts are arid environments, a lack of moisture. So wherever we have high pressure, no condensation, no clouds can form because of our sinking air, which is going to generate much more arid conditions. So you need to know for your exam about this arid environment. So your air is descending as it is much heavier. As the air sinks, it starts to warm up. 
This reduces the formation of clouds, which creates much clearer skies, leading to our arid environments. So this is important because in your exam, you need to know about why it is that we have high rainfall in low pressure environments and low rainfall in our high pressure environments. So make sure you know about these two different pressure systems. Once you're happy and confident with your high and low pressure and the types of weather that is created, feel free to move on to the atmospheric circulation clip where we are going to look at how this affects the world and the distribution of our tropical rainforests and deserts and other high and low pressure environments globally. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.